Hey everyone. So in this video, we will deploy a simple Python web application that is a fast API application, very simple application. It's one uh, file code and to the AWS app runner service that is a containerized application. All right. So we will um, take the uh, repository location from the GitHub. So we're not uh, gonna do any sort of uh, Docker build or pushing the image to anywhere. Everything will be taken care by AWS App Runner. So I'll just go to the App Runner or you can search in a search bar in the AWS portal, App Runner, and you can get it, okay? And just uh, whenever you see this, just click on this create an app runner service and here there are lots of options so we'll go with the source code repository we're directly uh, running the application from the source code and then um, here uh, you'll have to provide a github connection so either you can add new and currently my connection is already there so you just need to provide the github credentials and you're done all right then you choose the repository i'll choose the python web sample and I have currently uh, for specifically web app runner I have created a separate branch and it has nothing but you know simply a main.py which has a few endpoints and at last I'm just starting the uh, the server and server on a port 8080 the code is very simple again you just um, uh, create a simple uh, sample data like uh, five rows or it's an array and then uh, in the main.py you have some endpoints I just return the array and or the welcome page and the uh, add student remove student and delete student so we are just uh, simulating a crowd operation without database because uh, my first point is to show how uh, we can configure uh, or deploy application onto AWS app runner. All right. So here I have I will choose the branch web app runner, and I'll go with the default thing. I'll go with next, and here runtime I'll choose uh, Python three, and here you will have to provide uh, the build command and start command. So the build command is simply pip install hyphen r requirement txt and start command is python main.py because our first application is main.py because our port is already 8080 so we are going with it if your port in the application get changed then you will have to change over here click on the next and give the name i will simply give any name that you like uh, fast api web app runner okay all right so now click on the next and click create and deploy this may take little while you can refresh the logs over here so that you can get the deployment logs and after some times you'll get an application log so whatever your application is putting the logs you will be able to see over here so after you continuously refresh this maybe after 30 seconds so this may take um, on an average that I found is uh, three to four or maximum five minutes or six minutes but after a few minutes it will be up and running you will see the green signal and this is the URL that you will use once the uh, uh, service is in a green status you can just use this URL click over here and your application will be working so let's wait for some time and I'll pause the video for that time Alright, so our application is now in a green status and we can see in the application logs this is the application logs and let's try to run this uh, URL and it looks pretty good welcome to the student API using the Python what I will do is I just uh, this yeah so we all got all the students and if you want a particular students then we can try the third one so that's a very simple example rather than making it pretty complex i just uh, so that you can have uh, your hands dirty with this aws app runner 
Alright, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.